This is, if you don't, if you're not careful, you can actually screw this thing up. Okay, we are going to install the AMD CPU, the Threadripper. I am using a PC power and cooling power supply, which is 750 watts. What's nice about that, this particular power supply, I mean, I have, this happens to have an eight pin power and a four pin power, which is nice. It's only gonna be used for this demonstration. I have a thousand watt power supply that, um, that's in my current machine, but I just wanna show you how to do the installation of the CPU. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I've never done this before, so it doesn't seem to be all that difficult. Oh, that's interesting. Spring loaded. That's interesting. Two spring loaded devices. Huh. Now, the only reason why, I mean, I'm actually installing it upside down, but believe it or not, if you look carefully, this is interesting. <laughs> This is, if you don't, if you're not careful, you can actually screw this thing up. You have to leave it in this carrier frame because this gets slid in like so. That's what it looks like. Wow, this is a very complicated CPU install. Now that goes in like so, so you need to keep it on that plastic piece. And then you slide this down like so. So that actually s snapped into place. That's really interesting. So in my unboxing video of the Threadripper, I removed it. <laughs> I do have to say this is very difficult to do. Holy crap. Makes you very nervous. I guess for the record, I am sweating profusely. Oh, wow. So the thread rip, you know, it's really interesting. I'm, I'm bringing this up after the fact, guys. Gigabyte supplies this Allen key for that. But this is, this is the tool that comes with it too. And it has a, I guess, a torque uh, thing on here. It lets you know when you actually fit, tightened it enough so you don't over tighten. Now that's nice. Just make sure of that. Let me unscrew this a little bit and then use this tool. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. So you don't over tighten. That's actually nice. So this ha this actually has says 18 foot ounces or 13.3 three inch pounds of force. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like I have to mount this thing a different direction because the memory, if you noticed, I have to put this, I can't get the memory m module here. It's actually, it's going to hit this wire. So I have to modify this and spin it around. Hey, I would never have known. Actually, you know what? That kind of stinks. 
So let's see if I can put it in a way that's not going to affect anything. See, I would never have known that. See, you learn. And the memory that I'm using is 1414, 1434 at 3000 megahertz. So it's going to look perfect. So now we have the memory installed. All right, so we're going to boot off of the CD-ROM drive. And we're doing that now. This is awesome. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm going to do the installation of Windows 10. And uh, we will show you the, I guess, the performance capability, gaming capability, everything on this. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Creative Labs iRoar. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger. And it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. And now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,